World Habitat Day is held on the first Monday of October and launches up in October for 2022, the World Habitat Day. Under the theme, Mind the Gap, Leave No One and Place Behind. We'll look at the problem of growing inequality and challenges in cities and human settlements. We want to draw attention to the growing inequalities and vulnerabilities that have been exacerbated by the triple C crisis, which is COVID-19, climate, as well as conflict. And that is for focusing on Uganda and here to actually paint a broader picture for us is Ronald Kasure who's the donor engagements and resource mobilization specialist Habitat for Humanity Uganda. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon Priscilla, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. So tell us more about World Habitat Day. Uh, World Habitat Day is basically a day uh, when uh, we commemorate and uh, remember uh, how we can impact around the decent and affordable housing conditions, basically uh, for the people uh, around the world. And this is basically around the 3rd of October, uh, that is uh, commemorated every 3rd of October. And uh, this is basically to ensure that we improve the livelihoods of our communities, basically the living condition. Okay. All right. I want to find out from you, what are the statistical stats of housing in Uganda's city as well as human settlements? Uh, in Uganda, currently, as the population keeps on growing, uh, we basically have uh, 2.4 million uh, deficit of the housing unit. But remember, the population keeps on increasing, and uh, mm -hmm. we anticipate that by 2050, uh, that is 2050, uh, this housing deficit will actually grow. Uh, in the urban centers, we actually have about uh, 900,000 uh, housing units. Uh, so this is basically growing day by day, and in the rural areas we have about uh, 1.4 million housing deficits. Okay, uh, looking at this year's theme, which says, uh, mind the gap, leave no one or place behind. Could you paint us a picture of where the gaps of inequality are in Uganda's housing? Uh, basically in Uganda currently when you look at the state of housing, I can say that two in three Ugandans actually live in indecent places or they actually live in places that are not good uh, for human settlement or for human living and I can assure you that when you look at the statistics and most of these people around Kampala, around town, they basically, the, 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 the access to housing is actually for the rich people. Uh, when you look at, for example, an apartment in Kampala, it's all over one million Uganda shilling. And uh, most of our people here actually live on less than a dollar a day. So Habitat for Humanity Uganda is actually coming in to solve the problem of inequality. We are actually looking at those people who cannot actually access a place that they can call home. And how are we doing that? We are trying to ensure that we bring on board mothers, we are bringing on board women, we are bringing on board children to ensure that they have right to own land access to land tenure security and all those other things. Okay, how else can we as a community bridge the gap of inequality in housing? Uh, as a community and as Habitat for Shumanti Uganda, we've come on board and we are holding the first Uganda Housing Symposium. And this is the place where we want to bring together all the stakeholders, all the communities, to ensure that we discuss what are those innovative solutions that can actually reduce the cost of housing. So we are calling on board partners, stakeholders, academicians, government, come and we discuss, come and we work together, come and we contribute and we see that we can try to bridge the housing deficit by trying to ensure that somebody can own a place okay. at an affordable price. All right, thank you so much, Ronald, from Habitat for Humanity Uganda. And of course, we have to mind the gap, leave no one and place behind. We're going to be taking a short breather, but NTV at one does continue shortly. Do stay with us.